Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, we are going to be looking at another fundamental forging process called slitting and drifting. Now I'm showing you a, basically a drifting punch or what I would call an opener. And the very first punch I showed you is a slot punch. Or if you ground a sharp edge on it, it would be called, considered a slitter. Either way, the process is basically the same. So the very first step in this process, we're going to go in with the slot punch to make an elongated hole in the bar stock. And what this allows us to do is this allows us to put a similar size hole in the size in the same size thickness bar stock. So we're going to put a 3 8 inch hole in a piece of 3 8 inch bar. Now this is something that you can only do by slitting and drifting. You can't do this by any other method. You can't punch through the material like we've shown in a previous fundamental as the bar stock is too small to be able to be punched and put a 3 8 hole in it. You are going to have to slot punch the piece first and then drift the hole to 3 8 of an inch. And this is a pretty standard operation that you will learn in a lot of architectural type smithing is a slit and drifted hole. So I'm just punching through the back side now just like with the regular punch like a standard punch there's no difference and we're going to be driving out the slug and once I have that I'll get that out of the way. As you can see it's just a flat bottom punch there and there you go we've got a nice slot in the bar here so the next up we will use our opener tool or our drift if you'd like the way that the drift is shaped is so this way it can make it through the smaller slot punched hole upsetting it a little bit will help but that's not always possible to do especially if it's in the middle of a bar somewhere and now we're going to use that tool to open up the piece now I have a short taper on each end of this drift pin and the center body part of this drift pin is a solid 3 8 inch round. So, uh, so this way I can drive out the piece all the way through the hole that I am drifting open. But as you can see that's already uh, again a 3 8 inch hole in a piece of 3 8 inch bar which is kind of pretty crazy to think about. Now you can even go larger and the only thing that you have to do is you have to correlate the size of the initial slot with the finished size of the hole that you intend to put in it. So if you wanted to put a 1 inch hole in a 3 8 inch bar, you need a slot that's approximately an inch to about an inch and an eighth long. And then that will allow you to create a 1 inch hole in a 1 inch bar. And of course you'll need a 1 inch drift as well. So as you can see, pretty simple, nothing really to it. I'm going to drive that down, dry, clean it up a little bit, and then I will drive it back through the opposite direction. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comment section down below. And I hope I earned your subscription. As always, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.